Hey, hey, feasters, and welcome to episode 83. And we've got an interesting show for you today, especially if you're looking to create a done-for-you service. But there's a fine line you don't want to cross and become a jack-of-all-trades. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Welcome to the Ask Res Podcast. I'm Jason, and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. And today's question is, can I do web software development and digital marketing as a freelancer at the exact same time? I'll be honest. I'm not sure how these direct questions work on Quora, meaning does this pop up in my profile only since I actually see some answers up to this question already. So if somebody out there uses Quora, let me know how this all works out. But Kevin, I want to really answer this question for you. So each of these three fields are very different, yet they all have some sort of crossover. So I know why you're asking this. And as somebody who is a web developer that also works in marketing and has a software development background, I feel, yeah, I feel qualified to answer this for you. So you ultimately are asking this because you want to create that done for you service for your clients to elevate yourself above all the other freelancers offering just one of these services. So the short answer really is, is yes, you can do all of them at the exact same time, but what's the cost there? Will you be awesome or just mediocre at all three? Will you get the best results for your clients doing all three things? Will you get the best results for your own business with all the, with doing all of these things? And ultimately, will you burn yourself out doing all of these things? Now, my question to you is which of these three things are you best at? I would start with that one and then slowly move the others into your business where it fits so that you can augment your services to what you're already great at. Let me explain what I mean by this. See, I'm a web developer by heart and practice. I trained as a software developer though in college. My love for web development pushed me into this field back in the late 90s. As the web grew though, marketing played a much bigger part in the things that I do. As did software development as iPads and tablets and other mobile devices became critical pieces of a business. I easily could have continued with web development and moved into the mobile app space as well, but I stayed with web development because for me, I enjoyed it more. It's that plain and simple. I'll get into the marketing piece here in a minute, but for me in the web development side, I really enjoyed doing Ruby on Rails, custom PHP work, and Java development. But as my freelance business moved along, I found myself getting really burned out. Ruby on Rails and PHP were growing and they were maturing to a level that keeping up with them became harder and harder. Then bouncing from a Ruby on Rails project that I had worked on for you know like a few months to a PHP project for the next several months and then back to another Ruby on Rails project, I was playing a game of constant catch-up of the education that I needed to do in order to keep up with that technology. I never felt as if I was becoming an expert. I felt like I was always falling behind and having to reinvent the wheel each and every time I started a new project. So I decided to take a look at what my customers were asking of me. I decided to figure out which one, which of those technologies to go with and stick to. For the marketing side of things, as someone who enjoys psychology and being able to help my clients' businesses grow, marketing played a huge role in the solution that I provide. Yet there are tons of aspects to digital marketing, SEO, pay-per-clicks, content marketing, email marketing, analytics, social media, and so much more that which, how did I figure out what to dabble into? I didn't want to do all of these things. Now, all of my clients are established online businesses selling memberships, digital products, or physical products, or they are nonprofits looking for people to sign up to events or donations or submit donations. I decided to 
think about my clients again. And instead of having them having to look elsewhere for certain aspects of marketing that helped my business grow and ultimately improve the service that I offer my clients and have their businesses grow, I learned aspects of email marketing and content marketing. These two things augmented my existing services to improve the results I get from my clients. That's where the crossover happens. And I became much more valuable to my clients than either just a web developer or just a marketer. They get a done for you service that they are looking for. So I would encourage you to focus in on your core service first and then add things in with the other two elements to augment that focus to get better results for your clients and your business. If you have a question, ask Rez, that's me, by leaving me a tweet or an email or go ahead and leave a comment as a review in iTunes. And while you're there, give us a five-star review. So until next time, it's your time to live in the feast.